Charles, New York, and I'm here with artist Holly Gordon, and she's going to explain to my audience what this event really is all about. It's called Northwest Meets Southeast. Now, Holly, tell my audience what this event is all about. It's a collaboration, I, I believe, of 30 different artists? Well, yes. I mean, just like Alfred Hitchcock did Strangers on a Train, Alita Cortez came to Photo Photo last August to a panel discussion that I was moderating. And she was so excited about what she heard that she came back the next day to the gallery and she and I started talking and exchanging thoughts and ideas. And the next thing I knew, she said, Holly, I want to collaborate with you. We share so many things in common. We love photographing the same things, but we have such a different point of view. Let's do something together. And we decided that we would give a, a, great, a great show of photography to Long Island and merge the photographers of Photo Photo Gallery now with... How, tell my audience how you pick these photographers. Well, it isn't exactly like we pick these photographers because Alita is an artist resident of Patchogue Art Space. That is, I see. That is made up of about 40 artists who live here and have access to this brilliant gallery. And of the 40 artist residents, seven of them are photographers. Now, I'm an artist with Photo Photo Gallery in Huntington, which is a fine art photography gallery, and we're comprised of about 23 photographers. And we also have some student photographers. And when Alita and I were looking over the art space gallery here, we just thought, my goodness, this is such a marvelous arena. Isn't it? It's gorgeous. For everybody to exhibit. Because Photo Photo is a small gallery, size-wise. And when I was trying to explain to my gallery artists at Photo Photo that we have an opportunity to really show our work, it was quite an eye-opener and an awakening because we're not accustomed to the luxury of this kind of space. It really is a beautiful space. I came here a couple of months ago and I fell in love with this wonderful gallery. Well, it's a little bit of Tribeca right I, here does, on Long does, Island. Looks like, you're right, it does not, look like Tribeca. Not that I want to dim diminish any power that Long Island photography has and Long Island galleries have, but the space is just so Tribeca. And this exhibit of photography is extraordinary because lots of galleries are, are not that anxious to exhibit fine art photography, and we are really showing photography to be as diverse and creative and brilliant and varied. It's just a marvelous art form. It certainly is. Now, um, you have various pieces of uh, photography and art being displayed, I'm sure, here at the gallery, but you have one particular piece that is so significant. Uh, explain to my audience about that particular piece that we're seeing right over there. Well, actually, I have four pieces that are particularly. But that's one of your favorites. That's one, oh, yes. One that is the favorite. That is the favorite. Well, if I'm looking at it, it's the favorite. It's called Circus of Color. I photographed it at the Beijing Opera when I was in China a few years ago. And it w I shot it without a flash. I was sitting in the audience. And uh, when the opportunity came to submit a piece to Rife Art, gallery to their circuit to their Valentine exhibition I went through all of my photographs to see what do I have that's a circus and I just remembered that when I went to the Beijing Opera I was expecting an opera and it wasn't anything at all like an opera it was very much like a circus to me so I had sent it to to, to Sherry via Rexer and she said yep looks good to me so I had it printed on aluminum and that's how it happens to be here. It's very different 
from all of the other photography that I did. So now, Holly, tell my audience where your love of photography, where did that originate? Well, I like to tell people that I was born with a camera in one hand and art history books and paintbrushes in another, and it was a very painful labor for my mother. <laughs> so the photography was easier. It, the photo it just, I started shooting when I was five years old. My dad put his Kodak double reflex around my neck, told me to hold still, look in the viewfinder and snap. And I, from then on, I was walking around with a camera. And sometimes I even had film in the camera. But um, I started photographing as a very young child. And I just wanted to document everything I saw. Oh my God. And then later. You know, how, how many pictures? And you must have tons and tons of pictures throughout your lifetime that you've taken. Yes, thousands and thousands. Thousands. And then when, now when you download them into, onto your hard drives, if you're not careful, you download things two times, three times, four times. So I have quadruplicates of some stuff. But it's, I'm, always, I'm always photographing, and I, I shoot with film, and I shoot digitally, and uh, it's just how I live my life. Well, you're doing a marvelous job, and I'm so happy that you invited me tonight to experience this whole exhibit. And I'm, I'm really so pleased to be here. But I would like you to tell my audience if we can find out more information about your art. Do you have a website? Yes, my website is www.hollygordonphotographer.com. And uh, Facebook I'm, too? I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm with Photo Photo Gallery, I'm with Nature and Wildlife Photographers of Long Island, I'm with Long Island Photo Gallery and Islip. I'm all over the place, but I just want to warn you. Like me, all over all the place. O all over the place. <laughs> out, of, out of the box, off the wall, I mean even my art varies from image to image. But be careful when you check me out, that is Holly Gordon Photographer, because Believe it or not, there's a Holly Gordon photography, and she does lingerie and boudoir. That's what so I that was that just going to ask. That isn't me. Once in a while, somebody says, oh, I didn't know you do that, Holly. And I don't. <laughs> it's another Holly Gordon. Now, tell my audience how long this exhibit is going to be. Well, interestingly, this exhibit was supposed to run through March 30th. And popular demand has expanded it. So we are going to be exhibiting through April 5th. But interestingly, Photo Photo Gallery on 14 West Harbor Street in Huntington is reciprocating. And the art space photographers are going to be exhibiting at Photo Photo Gallery. And that exhibit goes up March 30th. And the reception is Saturday, April 3rd, I believe, and it will run for a month. Oh, wonderful. So well, this collaboration is continuing. And the neatest thing about this interview is photography is so solitary. We're behind our camera, and we're focusing, and we're quiet. And this opportunity has really given me a chance to come out from behind the camera and talk to people. And be in front of the camera. And be in front of the camera, too, yes. Well, Holly, thank you so much for that wonderful interview. Thank well, you. thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at Art Space in Patchogue, Long Island. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs> been a crybaby productions darlings